Hello and welcome back to Storytime with Avery. Today we are going to read Piglet's Night Lights. And it is really written by K. Emily Huda. And it is illustrated by out here, Philip Hartchie. Piglet's Night Lights. twilight in the 100 acre wood when Winnie the Pooh knocked on his good friend Piglet's door. Pooh was carrying a backpack with an enormous pot of honey, honey sticking out of the top. Ready for camp out, Piglet? Pooh called. Piglet opened the door and looked around nervously. Are you really quite sure about this, Pooh? He asked. It's getting awfully dark out there, and it's so light and cozy in here. Maybe we could just camp out in my living room. That would be a camp in Piglet, not a camp out, Pooh said. Pooh reminded Piglet that their friends were waiting for them at the campsite. Everyone will be there, Piglet, Pooh said. It's going to be splendid. Uh, Pooh offered to help Pig, Piglet get ready. Pooh stuck acorn muffins into the pockets of Piglet's backpack while Piglet neatly packed his favorite blanket and teddy bear. I have the feeling I'm forgetting something, Pooh, Piglet said. Well, let's see, Pooh said. We have honey. Pooh patted the sticky honey pot in his pack. And we have plenty of hay corn muffins. Just to be sure, Pooh tucked in two more particularly plump ones next to Piglet's teddy bear. What else could we possibly need? Pooh and Piglet started for the campsite. As they walked, it got darker and darker and Piglet got more and more nervous. What's that? Piglet asked. Suddenly, pointing to a scary-looking shape in the trees. Well, I'm not certain, Piglet, who answered. He was beginning to get a little bit nervous himself. Maybe if we snuggle up next to each other, it will go away, Pooh said. Maybe we should close our eyes, too, Piglet suggested. Hello down there, called a voice from above. Pooh and Piglet both jumped startled. Who's there? Pooh asked, looking up into the trees. All Pooh could see were two round, unblinking eyes staring down at them. Why, it's me, Owl, the voice answered. I thought you might need a little help finding the others, Owl said. We, we owls can see quite well at night, you know. Oh, thank you, Owl, Piglet said. Lead on, said Pooh, who is now feeling quite brave. By the time the friends reached the campsite, it was completely dark. Pooh bumped into Rabbit, who was struggling to put up the tent. Well, don't just stand there, Rabbit said. I need all the help I can get. Did I hear someone say help? Tigger cried, bouncing into the clearing. Have no fear, Tigger's here. With illumination, he said proudly. Illumination, he said proudly. Oh, and you brought a light too, cried Piglet, peeking out from under the hood of his jacket. Thank goodness. With the lantern lighting the scene, the friends set up the tent. Piglet climbed inside, then poked his head back out. Oh, no, Piglet cried. I forgot my nightlight. I can't sleep without a nightlight, Piglet said, 
wringing his hands. What am I going to do? Don't worry, buddy boy. Tigger said, you can use my lantern as a nightlight. Just then, the lantern sputtered and went out. Once, on second thought, Tigger said, diving into the tent to dig through the stuff in Rabbit's pack. Long ears must have something you can use. In Rabbit's pack, Tigger found a kite, a flower pot, and kitchen pans. He found garden tools and a bike horn. At the very bottom, he found a flashlight. Tigger tried to turn it on, but nothing happened. This thing of a bob is not working either, Tigger cried. Oh, at that moment, there was a crashing in the nearby bushes. It was Eeyore carrying a load of branches on his back. Can't we have a camp out without a camp? We can't have a camp out without a campfire, Eora said. Everyone agreed wholeheartedly as soon as a cheerful fire was burnt. Fire certainly is pleasant, Piglet said. It makes a very good sort of light. It does a fantastic job cooking marshy, marshy, marshy mellows too, Tigger said wrestling with a particular gooey marshmallow. Fire is fine, Rabbit said, but I think sunlight is the best light of all because it makes my vegetables grow. And I like the way the sun warms my tummy when I lie in the grass, Pooh said. And all of the colors when the sun are split. That are splendid, Piglet said. Look at that suspicious looking shadow on the tent, Tigger shouted. That looks a lot like your tail to me, Rabbit said. Guess what this is, Rabbit said, fluttering his hand like a butterfly. Why, it's a shadow puppet, Owl said. Isn't it remarkable what light can do? The friends played shadow puppets until bedtime. Then everyone went to bed except Piglet, who wouldn't leave the light of the fire, and Pooh, who wouldn't leave his friend. After a short while, the fire faded and went out. Maybe we should go to sleep now, Piglet, Pooh said, yawning. I can't sleep without a nightlight, Pooh. Piglet replied sadly. Pooh thought very hard. Think, 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 he said, tapping his forehead. To wake up any ideas that might be in there. Just then a firefly landed right between Pooh's eyes, crossing his eyes to see it. Pooh tumbled backward off the log he was sitting on. Lying on his back, looking up at the night sky, Pooh had an idea. The stars are night lights, Piglet, he said, pointing up at the sparkling stars. And so are the fireflies, he added, smiling as the second one settled on his nose. Piglet looked around him. You're right, Pooh, Piglet cried. There are night lights everywhere. Piglet pointed to the long path of moonlight shining on the surface of the lake. Look at how bright the moon is tonight, Piglet said. It's even brighter than my own nightlight. Do you think you might be able to sleep now, Piglet? Asked Pooh with a huge yawn. Piglet? But Piglet didn't answer. He was fast asleep. If you want to do this activity, it's a fun to learn activity. I certainly saw Piglet saying this. I certainly saw different kinds of lights at our camp out. There was everything from a lantern to fireflies. Can you think of different kind of lights inside and outside your house? What are they? That's the fun to learn activity assignment from me. I hope you like this book. 
and be sure to subscribe below and like the video.